okay anyways so um the next step in my rice tutorial now this is very important step okay so i don't know if you've known but like this is is, is soap okay it's it is a it is a the very like you know the, the no, dish soap now God. this will clean out all the the, no, the nastiness God, in the please, rice no, so you no, just got to make sure you pour enough no, of this into the rice no. um it's blue so you can see where it is um now you might be like okay well the soap that's kind of nasty well wait 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 i have a, a a trick a hack okay listen so i have this here this this is a uh, sponge okay now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the soap and the rice and you're just gonna stir it like this with the sponge now as you can see the sponge you know it's very uh absorbent and it's cleaning the rice very well um and see as you can see that the rice water it's it's turning even murkier which means we're absorbing more of the um unhealthy you know starches and stuff that is gonna make the rice nasty you know and you know it's very it's a very good way you know you have to really make sure you get in there and you scrub you know like every aspect of every grain of rice needs to be scrubbed if you don't get every grain um it can be pretty unhealthy so you need to make sure you scrub every grain of rice now as you can see you can see the bubbles from the soap are starting to you know rise into the rice you know as you can see so that that's a good sign um that means that you're you're actively you know washing the rice that you know when the bubbles are activated it means that the rice is getting cleaner as we speak so um ignore the fact that uh sorry it is sticking to the sponge you know i got a cheap one um yeah you really have to scrub now does any and chat do you have any questions uh let me let me let me check my my my, my chat so uh, audience do you have any questions yo i'm coming someone get vox why why do you torture us stop right now okay chat clearly no one has taught you how to make rice because you guys seem very upset and i'm very confused because like this is the very way you know this is the correct way so like i said you need to keep scrubbing like really get every grain like like scrub it like it's a wet dog that just ran into the mud you know it's nasty it's rancid you got to make sure you get all the grains nice and you know washed And this is why we also put the safety gloves on because you see how the rice water it's very toxic for you you need to make sure that it's you know nice and clean because if your hands absorb the nasty rice water it can actually be harmful for your body you know i don't know why people in the chat are telling me to stop uh, clearly you've never made rice properly um I honestly think you guys, yo, y'all are trolling me, right? Like, like you don't wash your rice, bro. Like, y'all, chat. I thought I had more expectations for you guys. I really thought you guys were super keen on washing your rice. You know, I even said keen, like I'm fucking rent or some shit. And listen, it's okay. You know, if you don't, if you found out today that you've been washing your rice incorrectly your whole life, it's fine. You know, I completely understand. Um, it can be a shocker because when I found out the correct way to wash rice from the master rice chef, um you know uh, a thousand years ago in his prophecy i realized that we have all been doing it wrong for so many years now back in the day they didn't actually have you know they didn't have these these nice modern sponges but what they would do is they would you know they would filter it with their hands um and with animal fats you know which is all, uh, made up of a lot of soaps today um now i prefer to get you know blue colored soap because it's very you know very fulfilling and you know you can see the bubbles. so as you can see you can, you can see all the bubbles you know you know very soapy um which is good that means you're cleaning the rice very well okay this is this is good rice okay so you just need to keep scrubbing um yeah why are you doing this to us um i don't know can i use bar soap actually okay so i think it's actually better to use liquid soap because bar soap does not dissolve into the rice as easily so with the liquid soap you already have the instant action um when you scrub it's you know it's already it's instantly cleaner and it automatically becomes you know very soapy with bar soap you need to wait a little bit which can cause some issues you know and you don't want chunks of heavy soap you know in your rice after you filter it after you wash it because you don't want to actually taste the soap you just need the soap to do the washing for you and then you're going to filter it out later with the strainer so i'm really just making sure i get in you know and wash the rice fully so look you can see there's a lot of bubbles it's almost like when you wash a car okay except you're washing rice you see that look at how beautiful that looks
do you have insurance um i do have uh i do have health insurance and cooking insurance so don't worry if you ever give yourself um any illnesses with cooking you do make sure you have health insurance and maybe a uh, poison control on the line um but you know well since we're not making any complicated dishes um such as uh puffer fish or anything of the sorts you know you don't really need to worry too much about poison control just make sure you cook your food all the way of course okay so i think we've done enough uh scrubbing of our rice like i think we did a good job you know as you can see our sponge you know it's it looks better for wear um so i'm gonna put the sponge in this in this nice cup right here first you know you got to squeeze the sponge Stop make sure it. you get you know, the rest get of the, the soap out you know you, you don't want to leave any out of the rice mixture um as you can see and that's gonna go right there did you also wash pasta with soap yes you i wash all of my 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 grains with soap um it's just a good practice so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna filter this out um in the sink real quick so i'll be right back chat i'm um, just momentarily while you wait for me to you know filter out my you know my rice with uh, a strainer um you'll be able to hear it as i do a very good job of pouring i'm actually really bad at pouring so listen if i end up hurting myself or anyone else um it's the strainer's fault it's not mine i promise okay one eternity later now here you can see our beautiful rice um let me get get it closer to the camera so you can see you can see all oh the soap bubbles you know and everything you know it's very clean rice you know it's so clean there's still some soap in it so that's how you know you did a good job is if you can see some of the bubbles um the bubbles doesn't mean there's any soap left um it just means that you know like the the rice is like like super clean um yeah it just means that it's super clean and is good for you and you know it helps with immune system health you know this helps with gut health um yeah so as you can see this is our rice it's beautiful um oh, so make sure oh, you oh. like subscribe and oh. comment down the video so i can you choose wanna... you and you can win a free iphone 5 yes you want a special code get away that's that's crazy